Hey everyone, Tom here, and welcome back to another driving me video. The camera's apparently not stuck down. Okay. So today's video we're going to be talking about uh, me going to look at a new car. So earlier today, which was yesterday to you guys, everything's done. One day thing, I drove all the way to Gloucester, which actually wasn't that far away from me now. Capped a, a blue Mitsubishi ASX. Now, the guy wanted seven grand for it. Um, a car buying site said it was worth four grand, and Car Guru said it was 400 and something pound overpriced. So, I didn't go for it. It's still there, so I might go for it in the future. I need to get a new job so I can. have an ear infection in this video so I keep hearing like weird noises coming out of my right ear which aren't actually there which is because I have an ear infection you, know, you guys don't need to know that but I'll follow the anyway. anyway so this blue Mitsubishi ASX was a uh, ASX 3 um, it was just it was it must have got £480 worth of got a chocolate bar running around in the back seat so you guys can hear that it's also like eight o'clock at night uh, but of course it's, it's springtime so well british summer time as they call it so i have a weird noise coming from the driver's side door like it's like it's open still but there's no thing saying it's open in this car it does have that feature so it's kind of worrying me just a bit about with this door. So this ASX, this ASX was the, I can't remember what colour, what colour actual spec it is, it's just the blue one, not the dark blue, but the light blue one, um, had a couple of scratches on it, like in the door handles there were scratches where people like, whatever, like nails and stuff had gone against it, um, and I don't think they could repair that obviously, um, due to the fact that there were scratches in the, in the door handle, even within the door handle, um, it didn't look great. That, that part of the scratches. Um, it also had some little scratches on the doors and stuff like that, but to be honest with you, to me, uh, a scratch doesn't really mean anything, or a dent doesn't really mean anything. Unless I'm buying like a brand new car, then it doesn't really matter to me that it's got a little dent in it, because if I'm going to be a carpenter, I'm going to do a lot of tools and all kinds of rubbish in the back of it. Dent it and probably hit stuff and tow stuff and reverse into stuff and I know it's bad. So it had um, it had rear parking sensors. I don't know if it had front ones, but it had it had definitely had rear ones. It's just some random person walking. Now, of course, we have to get these traffic lights, but that was all the way in Gloucester. Um, so I will tell you where it is, just in case you come and nick it. But. where it was. Also I'm trying a new driving style. So instead of putting the handbrake on, doing the brake and taking it out of gear and stuff, I don't do that. I might just handbrake, gear off, go, you know. I've heard people who get annoyed with that as well, but you know, I'm really going off topic and trying to talk about his car as well. But 
to me this car was good like I liked it and I sat in the driver's seat of it and I didn't turn it on I turned the ignition on but I didn't then start the engine and I sat there and my dad was looking around because he obviously works for the company and he was checking out for me the engine looked good everything looked good parts labor everything six months warranty which probably would pay for extra warranty due to the fact that this car did explode um, when I had this but other than that it's absolutely fine Was. Um, I didn't have sat nav, I didn't have any of that, the USB port and some stuff for dash cam stuff to have. This car, um, I liked it okay, it's a big step up from this of course because it's a 1.6 and this is obviously a 1.2, um, so it's a big step up if I could keep this and that at the same time, I probably would, if I'm honest with you, um, just because I actually really love this car, obviously it's Problems. I spent, I've made me spend more money on it than I really wanted to, but I do love this car, like, the handling is amazing. I mean, to be honest with you, because it's classed as like a city car, but it's technically a hot hatch and stuff like that, um, it doesn't do well at high speeds, because I'm currently doing like 50, like 45 mile an hour, something like that. Um, and it does alright at like 40, 50. It doesn't do so good at 60 or 70, and that's about as far as I've pushed it. Well, you know, as far as I've pushed it on the road and to a legal state. And it, the engine is really loud, and when I take my dad to the place that this car would be, I did the speed limit, um, I did 60, and I did 70 on the motorway, and I did 70 on the dual carriageway, which is legal, don't worry, not breaking the law. Um, and he just goes, oh, what are you on about? That's just, that's just an engine making a noise. And I'm like, yeah, but it's loud. And he goes, yeah, well, it's an old car. And, he goes, and I'm like, yeah, but that's what he did. Then, 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 then. And I was like, oh. but he, he seems like this car as well. And he's like 50 something. I can't remember. He's 58 yet. 58. Um, 59 quite so much. Anyway, he's, he, he, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to buying a car and getting a car because he does work for a car company um, and he knows what he's talking about with finance and stuff like that which I don't know what he's doing. Um, so, it was a good car. I admit, it was a good car and they offered me £1,100 for this car. Um, so, I don't know. I liked it and I sat in it and I was like, I want this car. It's a 2011 plate, just, just saying. <laughs> it's only a 2011 plate, so it's not like a brand new car. Um, so it's like, eight years old, nine years old? Eight or nine years old, maybe eight. Yeah. No, nine, nine years old. So I, I don't know, actually know exactly where it's registered or anything like that. But, all I know is that it was clean. Apart from a couple of scratches and stuff like that, which, like I said, I don't really care about, um, it was nice. <laughs> would, I buy, would I go back and buy it? Yes, yes, I would. 100%. Um, but of course, I'm not going to do that because I need to sort out how I'm going to pay for it, how I'm going to consistently pay for it, how I'm going to insure it, and all this kind of stuff that you have to worry about when buying a new car. Obviously, I've just this car for a new year and I might want to keep this one for a year. Yeah again the car could buy me a bit white spot and it's a little Um but I know I liked it but the guy that was trying to sell it was like he sort of he wanted me to buy it like there and then like on the spot. As much as I wanted to shake his hand and go, yeah, you've got a deal, it was a case of, I don't know, I don't know, he, he seemed to want to, want to sell the car way too much, if that makes sense, so he didn't, he didn't offer me a test drive, he obviously asked how I'm a holder, I'm like 18. But 
you know, uh, the thing with the thing I've noticed about cars and actually driving a car and owning a car is it's it's a lot of upkeep if it's not very reliable. Um, obviously, you you route the car when it goes into get repaired. We've got brake down cover now, so and I do get a, a courtesy car with that brake down cover thanks to my dad buying that Christmas present. Very nice of him. Um, but I, know, I like cars, I love cars, I am a car person and I love doing these driving me videos. And as much as I love this little Corsa and it is my first car and I do love it and I have named it Shelley and I have had all these experiences in it going with places with my girlfriend, of course, and other stuff like that. And taking it to college and just being my friend in it and being my girlfriend in it, which is something that's, it's, it's not the car that's good, it's the memories within the car. It's like having a memory at a place and loving the place because of the memory. Um, stuff like that, which is, the things that mean the most to me and the memories shared with people in this car, whereas, well, obviously I love the car, it drives so nicely, it, it has decent power considering it's a 1.2 litre, um, it does go, you do want it to go, uh, obviously I can't really do that but I did it when I was learning, so the H6 Direct don't have a go at me, so I wasn't really sure why you but, you know, and, I, and, I, and it's not the best, but it's mine, and it keeps to go. So I'm going to, I'm going to quickly do this at the end of this video so I'm still driving down the same road at the same time. I've actually did die on the camera so this will be a short bit. I can't really remember what I was talking about a couple of minutes ago but I was going to do it for this video so I did like that car like I keep saying it all the time and I might go back and get it but you guys will see that I do. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video on the car I went to see. It's just a little sort of random video about what I did today basically. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this one in the outro of always the movie on the right screen, which made two players to all try the videos I've done. Look, see I remember when I met you as a sophomore Started out as friends, but I knew that we would want more Hit your favorite restaurant, with your favorite dress on That's one of my favorite memories